The elusive strategies on creating wealth don't have to be so elusive after all. One of the main pillars of wealth building is saving income. Easier said than done, especially when the average American makes just under $50,000 per year in income. And add in taxes, and that income dwindles down even further. And two-thirds of Americans don't even have $1,000 in savings under their name. So how is it that you can save 50% of your income even under these circumstances? Patience is key, along with having the right vehicle and strategies to save effectively and efficiently. In this video, I will discuss the different strategies and techniques that you can use to save 50% of your income, therefore acquiring the funds necessary to invest in income producing assets such as the stock market or real estate. Get ready, you are now entering the academy. Cutting back on expenses is one of the critical steps in saving huge amounts of your income. Of course, cutting back and eliminating on lavish expenditures, unnecessary items, goes unsaid. So the focus on this video will not be on the obvious things that you can easily cut back or eliminate, but what happens when you've already cut back on expenses for obvious things and are stuck on what to do next. Well now, we have to work on reducing expenses on the essentials, such as food, gas, rent, etc. The first expense to focus on is food. These days, food can be very expensive. In fact, sometimes it is cheaper to actually go out and eat versus buying the materials to make your own food at home. But don't fall into the trap of eating out every day. It actually ends up costing you more, including your health. There is no doubt that cooking and eating at home will not only save you money in the long run, but it's also way healthier. Be smart when doing your grocery list. Buy in bulk and eat simple meals. This will help in food expenses. And try to eat as healthy as possible. And try to eliminate those lattes and elaborate coffee drinks. Ever heard of the 20 cent iced coffee drink you can make at home? The next expense to cut back is on gas. Easier said than done, we all have to travel to and from work as well as general traveling to get from point A to point B. But there are a few tips on saving while traveling, especially with gas. Firstly, there are grocery points cards that will allow you to get points while buying your groceries. The cool thing about these is that they also allow you to use those points to get discounts on gas, sometimes as much as 30 cents off per gallon or even more. So this is one method where you can save on gas. Taking less road trips will also help in reducing travel expenditures. There are surely plenty of things to do around the city you live in and plenty of transportation such as trains, buses, etc. available to save not only on gas expenditures but also wear and tear on your car. If you like to travel or take vacations, try to limit it at once a year. All good things come to those who sacrifice and have patience. As far as car expenditures, try to drive a used car and use it as much as possible. Do not get into leasing cars as this is a very expensive way to lose money. The third way to cut back on expenses is to save money by lowering your rent. Now assuming you don't have an expensive home mortgage, renting is probably the best way to save money. Not only that, but there are creative things you can do when renting that will allow you to save even more. Ever heard of rent hacking? Renting a modest home can help you save money by having a few roommates who live in the home and the rent can be divided down by three or more. The same can be said of all other home expenditures such as utilities, gas, cable, internet, and more. Reducing your rent expenses is probably one of the most effective ways to save on your living expenditures. By employing the strategies mentioned in this video, which include saving on food expenses, reducing your travel expenses, and cutting back on your rental costs, you can begin to save a substantial portion of your monthly income. By tracking your expenses on a monthly basis, you can see what areas you can focus on to further reduce expenditures. Focusing in on these three different expense categories mentioned in this video, alone can get you to reduce your expenditures by nearly 50% if it is done efficiently and methodically. So start off by focusing in on these three critical expenditure categories and then cut any additional frivolous expenses and you will be on your way to saving nearly 50% of your income. Be sure to check out the links in the description to get started in creating your very own path toward financial freedom and independence. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed watching, don't forget to smash the like button and if you haven't done so already, 
already, be sure to subscribe to the 10X Academy. And don't forget to turn on the notification bell to be alerted on more passive income strategy videos. This is the 10X Academy.